Introduction Tarun is in a village as part of his social science project. The village is quite a contrast to his city. The village is very green, whereas in the city there is hardly any greenery. The village air smells fresh, free from pollution. It is an entirely new experience for Tarun, who is used to inhaling fumes and smoke in the city. A question pops up in Tarun's mind. Could the difference be due to the trees? In this lesson, we will discuss forests in detail. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define forests Describe the structure of a forest List the products obtained from forests Define food chain List the constituents of food chain Describe the importance of forests to human beings. Forests are vast stretches of land, densely populated by trees. Also known as woods, forests cover about 30% of the total land area of the earth. They include not just trees, but also smaller plants, shrubs and bushes. Forests are home to a wide variety of flora and fauna. Besides animals and plants, many tribes also inhabit forests. They derive their food and clothing from the forests. They depend on forest produce for their livelihood. The upper part of the trees and shrubs, comprising the branches and the leaves, is known as the crown. The crowns of the tall trees from the roof of a forest. The roof acts as a canopy that shields the forest from sunlight. The forest floor is hot and humid. It contains leaves, branches, insects, algae and microorganisms like fungi, bacteria, etc. that are invisible to the naked eye. Microorganisms decompose organic matter into a dark colored substance called humus. Humus provides nutrients to plants and makes soil fertile. A forest has a layered appearance and it has trees of different heights. While the uppermost layer is known as the overstory, the lower layers formed by shrubs, herbs and mosses constitute the understory. Seeds produced by trees are dispersed by wind, water and animals. The hot and humid forest floor provides favorable conditions for seeds to germinate. Seedlings emerge from germinated seeds and grow into saplings first and then trees. Forests give us numerous products such as wood for fuel and furniture, fodder for animals, medicinal plants, paper, bamboo, rubber, glue and many more. It is breakfast time. Rhea is relishing a cheese cube. She decides to trace the cube back to the place from where it originated. The cheese cube comes from milk and the milk from the cow. The cow eats plants. Plants produce their food with the help of sunlight. Ria just traced the food chain. The food chain is an arrangement in which energy passes from one organism to another. The main constituents of the food chain are the sun, the plants, the animals, and the scavengers. The sun is the principal source of energy. The plants are the producers as they manufacture their own food with the help of sunlight. The animals are the consumers. Animals can be plant-eating herbivores or flesh-eating carnivores. Animals can also be omnivores, consuming both plants and other animals. The scavengers feed on dead animals. Let us take a simple example of a food chain. Plants use the sunlight and prepare food. Plants are eaten by deer. Deer are eaten by lions. When the lions die, their physical remains are eaten by scavengers such as vulture, hyena, etc. Decomposers such as fungi and bacteria feed on the remnants of dead organisms and break them down into humors which provides nutrients to plants. 
Thus the food chain comes one full cycle. Forests support many such food chains which are interlinked to one another to form a food web. Hills have dense forests. Forests maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants manufacture food. In this process, plant leaves use the light from the sun to synthesize food from carbon dioxide and water. Carbon dioxide is released by human beings and animals. Water is absorbed from the soil by plants. Sugar and oxygen are the end products of photosynthesis. Sugar is transported to the rest of the plant. Oxygen is released into the air and used by human beings and animals in respiration. That is why forests are called the green lungs of the earth. Forests play an important role in the water cycle as well. They contribute to it through transpiration. Transpiration is the process by which water vapor evaporates from the leaves and stems of a plant into the atmosphere. It then rises up in the air. When it comes in contact with a cooler surface, it condenses and forms clouds. When the water droplets in the clouds become heavy, they fall down as rain. The rainwater flows into streams rivers and oceans, thereby completing the water cycle. Lena comes across a headline in the newspaper. Lack of forest cover leads to flash floods. She is eager to know the connection between forests and floods. Roots of plants not only fix them to the soil, but also bind the soil together. When forests are destroyed, the topsoil becomes loose and is eroded by water and wind. This causes an increase in desert land. Fertility of the soil is also reduced. Erosion of topsoil also reduces the capacity of soil to absorb rain water. As a result, there are floods. Adil is at a clinic. He complains of itchy sensation in his eyes and an irritation in his throat. The doctor attributes the symptoms to pollution. The smoke and poisonous gases emitted by vehicles and factories are the cause of such symptoms as experienced by Adil. But the situation would have been worse had there been no forests because trees clean up the air by absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. Forests also absorb and block noise arising from the urban environment making the earth a livable place. It is time to check your understanding. Drag and drop the correct option into the respective box. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Forests are vast stretches of land, densely populated by trees. Forests are home to a wide variety of flora and fauna. The uppermost layer of a forest is known as the overstory. Lower layers formed by shrubs, herbs and mosses constitute the understory. Forests give us numerous products such as wood, fodder, medicinal plants, paper, bamboo, rubber, glue, etc. The food chain is an arrangement in which energy passes from one organism to another. Forests maintain the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere through photosynthesis. Forests play an important role in the water cycle through transpiration. Forests prevent soil erosion and air and water pollution.